What is up guys? Welcome back to Pokemon News Daily for January 30th, 2019. I'm your host, Daddy Gamer Fred, bringing you a daily news show where I go over all the Pokemon news for the day, from official news to the leaks to the rumors, spamming across all medias of Pokemon, from the games to the movies to the anime. So if you want to keep up to date with the latest news, make sure you're subscribed right now with those notifications turned on. If you like today's video, be sure to leave a like down below. Also, be sure to leave a comment as well, as I do take time out of my day to reply to all comments. So let me know your thoughts on today's topic. But without no further ado, let's jump right into the news and let's start off today with a brand new job listing by the Pokemon Company International via LinkedIn.com. This listing is looking for a principal game designer who will work within a team of designers, engineers, artists, producers, and testers to create an up and coming mobile game. They must be a creative individual that not only understands the secret sauce to fun games, but also can communicate that vision to others and will have the following following duties. Work with artists and designers to create a fantastic UI experience. Work with production management to define the idea feature set for the game. Work with producers to manage all of the designs sprint tasks. Work with the director of gaming to define and enforce the vision for this game. Now I find this interesting for many reasons. One being the obvious that there's a brand new Pokemon mobile game being worked on right now. Whether it's a brand new game or if it's the Pokemon Rumble mobile game that they haven't talked about in ages right now or this could potentially be an update to a game that's out now already like Pokemon Quest giving us a Gen 2 update but despite me loving Pokemon Quest and Pokemon Rumble and even Magikarp Jump I kind of hope it's something completely new. I feel recently that Nintendo has found a unique ways to integrate their brands into the mobile market and I think the Pokemon company is aware of that and want to do the same thing and not leave that money laying on the table in the mobile market and basically is investing in putting a great team together so they could get a mobile game out there that is not only going to do good but rake in tons of dough and I'm pretty sure they are aware of the mega hit success Pokemon Go obviously Pokemon Go is created by Niantic and just using the Pokemon IP now while they do make money off Pokemon Go I think what they want is something in house House that is going to be not greater than Pokemon Go, but something that they could stand on and be like, hey, this is our definitive mobile experience Pokemon game. And if you want the AR experience, you can also get that with Pokemon Go. This is just going to be something else. Or again, this could just be Rumble, Quest, something to that nature, where it's a completely spin off game where, again, where it isn't tied to the main series Pokemon games. So let me know your thoughts on what you think this mobile game could potentially be and what this job listing is actually for. What Pokemon style game would you like to see this turn into on the mobile market? Again, me, I would love to see a core RPG style game hit the mobile stores. And I think that would be a mega hit success if they did it right. And also if they did it in a way that, you know, it could feel like a classic game, but on the mobile screen and it mattered to us, like we could bring it over to Gen 8, for example, like bring those Pokemon that we catch in the mobile game over. And it kind of felt like a regular core RPG. I think they would make a shitload of money and they know that and that's why they're probably getting people together to try to figure out a best way to make that possible. Now while we're talking about mobile games let's talk about some Pokemon Go news that popped out today. The beta version of the Pokestop nomination system is now available for level 40 trainers in Argentina. The nomination system allows trainers to submit locations in Pokemon Go. Submissions will be evaluated for future Pokestops within the game. This is a feature that Pokemon Go desperately needs to roll out worldwide and even rolling out to players under the level 40 cap. I'm currently at level 32 and I think it kind of sucks that I can't get gifts or items from Pokestops. I can't get research tasks because there's no Pokestops around where I live. I literally have to drive about 45 minutes in order to hit one and it kind of sucks. Me being a Pokemon Go fanboy, I, I have to travel so far away just to you know participate in a game that I love. And again, I'm at level 32 and I've been playing this game 
game since launch. So yeah, there is a grind to it, but at the rate I'm going, it is a slow pace. So I'm happy this feature is being rolled out. I just kind of wish they could roll it out a bit faster. Lastly, to close out the news with some quick short news from Cerebi.net, and they are introducing a brand new thing called the Cerebi Pokédex Hub. It's an easy way to remember sections that will direct you throughout the many expanding Pokemon databases of Cerebi.net. If you want more details on what this means and how this affects the website of Cerebi.net, I'm going to leave a link to the uh, description of this and also to the website in the description below. Also, the final last story of the day, we've gotten a first look at a couple of Meltan plushes and figures that kind of looks weird but also looks kind of cool. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below about these and if you are going to pick these up. To me, it's a no. They, they look interesting. I got to see them in real life to actually see if I'm going to drop some bread on them. So that's going to be it, guys, today for Pokemon News Daily. Let me know your thoughts on everything that we went over from the brand new job listing from the Pokemon Company International about the brand new mobile game that they are working on to Pokemon Go players in Argentina being able to submit Pokestops nominations. Also, let me know your thoughts on Cerebi.net if you actually use the website and also these Meltan plushies. Peace. I'm going to see you guys on the next Pokemon News Daily. I love you guys. I'm going to see you guys on the next one. Like always, guys, I'm Daddy and my friend on Instagram and Twitter, and you guys can bring the conversation there. I'm the American gamer in Switzerland right here on YouTube, and yes, I'm going to be doing a ton of videos just like this one. So if you enjoy, please hit that subscribe button. Also, hit the like button. It does help me out a ton as far as growing the channel is concerned. Ring the bell if you want to be notified on the next time I drop a video. Peace. I'm going to see you guys on the next one.